welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and today I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you. And my camera's a little wonky. Let's see if that's better. I'm in my dining room. I have my ceiling fan on if you hear a funny noise. And today's coffee, we have Folgers, that 1850 Pioneer Blend. It's delicious, but it's a little hot. I just microwaved it. All right, now it's a small little haul, but some fun stuff nonetheless, so I thought I would share with you. Sorry, my shirt's a little wonky today too, and my hair, oh, let's not talk about the hair. One day I'll have two arms and be able to do something. All right, this is in no particular order, but I did find, look at these adorable nail stickers. I just think those are so cute, and actually they'll match my polish that I'm wearing now. So I grabbed those. I grabbed one of these frames. Um, it is a tiny little frame. I think it was two by three. That's my mama. And um, this is gonna go on the mantle. It'll match my farmhouse decor. So I just got the one. I thought about buying a bunch and making like a display, but one is perfectly acceptable. So I grabbed that. I found some Onyx, some more of the Onyx. But look at the little tiny travel size. I love these. The ones I buy at the Dollar Tree are not, are the Dollar Tree brand are not good quality. They don't work real well. And I'm having high hopes that this brand will. And it's women owned and you get three for a dollar. And I love these for travel and I do have a trip coming up this summer. So this will be perfect in my little um, travel bag. So I grabbed those. And then I found, and I'm super excited, these. Clairol, it's a name brand, Color Crave Hair Makeup. So what it is, I opened one, I haven't done it yet, but you take the lid off, you squeeze it until the color comes up into the sponge, and then you like sponge it on where you want it to go, you hair dry it to set it, and then it stays, and then you wash it out, and it comes right out. I just think this would be super fun, and my little blondie cousin, I think will have a lot of fun playing with it too. So I got, this is Brilliant Amethyst. This one I'm excited is Shimmering Rose Gold. And this one is Brilliant Ruby. So we're gonna try these out and see if I like them. I just think it'll be fun to bring some color without permanent, because I'm not, I have to, a job. I'm not dyeing my hair. Not appropriate in my work environment, but it'll be fun like on the weekends or something, just lighten up the edges or, you know, maybe it'll hide my crazy. I don't know. Okay. I'm getting ready to, I call it a pantry, it's a cabinet. I have very little like food storage space, which is fine because I don't have a lot of food in my house. But I have a, you can't see it, but there's a hutch thing over here that I keep all my food in and I need to reorganize it. So I'm in the process of looking for containers that'll fit, but I got these jars, this one, and this size. One is definitely for chocolate chips and one is for I don't know what. But when I buy my chocolate chips, I don't use a whole bag and I love to store them in a glass jar. And this one, I wish I would tell you like how much they hold, but they don't. But this is definitely bigger. But I thought they would look cute in there. And they have the tin lid. Um, I have tried storing coffee in these, like open bag of coffee, and mm, it gets a little stale and the tops get like the oil from the coffee. Not a good plan for coffee storage, but I think it'd be great for chocolate chips. And other like loose tea bags that I have probably, stuff like that. But I'm starting to collect containers and then if you have an interest, I'll bring you along while I redo my pantry. So I grabbed these two jars for that. I was super excited to find a three pack of the twine without the green. I mean, I don't mind the green, but mostly I use this natural color. And this is three of them. Um, the bulk is a little less feet, like 10 feet less not a problem because I was really losing a whole spool anyway. Uh, so yeah, this is in the Tool Bench brand. I grabbed one more for a project I got coming up. As you know, I love wrapping everything in rope. <laughs> Speaking of a project, I grabbed one of these. 
Um, I may grab another one, we'll see, but it's the stars. And I'm gonna do something very similar to this, but without all the glitter. So I'm gonna get all this glitter off, and then we're going to paint it in a pretty farmhousey, moderny. I might do like enamel. That would be kind of fun and put them in like a bowl or something. So I grabbed one of those. And to potentially go with it, I grab one of this size. Again, I like the sentiment. I don't like all the glitter. It just doesn't go with my decor. So I grab one of these because I feel like I can do something between the stars and this sign. And I'll just sand off all the glitter. Uh, the first DIY I'm gonna work on is this pineapple. And I'm going to, which again, it's lovely, but it's not me. So what I'm gonna do is get all this glitter off of here and probably paint it and make a fun, like rustic-y type sign or something more muted that'll go with my house. So I grab that. Although I do like the island time. Maybe I can get some flowers and like decoupage them on or something. We'll see. But I like the shape of the pineapple. So I grabbed that. Sorry, my shirt's all, I'm all a mess today, okay? I'm a mess, let's be honest. I'm on cup number two of coffee. Ugh. Now, I need you to sit down for this. It's a little tiny photo album, which we've seen a hundred times. Look at the succulents. <gasps> because you know I'm succulent obsessed, right? I am. I just thought this was adorable. I have no idea what I'm putting in it. Probably nothing. Um, I have a couple others, but I'm gonna give them to my little cousin because she's interested in making her own scrapbook. And I think this is a perfect size for her to start with and it's free. So I'm gonna give her some craft paper and some, you know, some craft scrapbooking paper and one of these. I mean, there's a million things I can put in here. You know what this would be great for? If you have seeds, like for gardening, you could totally stick a seed packet in there. I don't, but if you did, it would work. So I got rid of those. Now, if you saw my video on my new cast iron, oh, you haven't seen it yet. Well, you will see it because it's going out on Monday. This is not going out till Tuesday, so you'll see it. Um, I needed a metal. I've never bought metal before, so I have a cast iron skillet that I bought. And I made hamburgers on it. I had used my cookie spatula, so I grabbed a metal one. Plus, this, I think they'll work good on my grill. It's nothing to write home about, but it's a metal spatula. So I grabbed one of those. Um, I got another one of these mahogany coconut. This does really well in my bathrooms because they're tiny little rooms. Um, and honestly, if you really wanted to get more bang, oh, it smells, it just smells like a man. It does, it smells like men's cologne, um, but it's probably the mahogany. Um, but if you want to get bang for your buck, try to burn two in one small room, like a bathroom, and it, you will smell it. So I just grabbed one more of those. I enjoy burning candles in my bathrooms and you know, they're a buck. So I grabbed that. I was out of the yellow mustard. I mean, come on, it's yellow mustard. This is a great value. This is a 20 ounce bottle. It's good. I don't notice any difference between this and French's to be honest with you. I love mustard. I use it all summer, especially in like grilling season. It's a great value for a dollar. So I grabbed that. And then the last thing I got, which I eat all the time, are these smoked planters. Um, I try to buy them and keep them uh, for vacation, but that doesn't ever seem to happen because I keep eating them, but whatever. So some smoked planters. And that is everything I got at the Dollar Tree. Um, I'm hoping to work on this this week. It's kind of hard. Um, I'll see if I can get it out. Um, yeah. But I gotta get all that glitter off, although it's pretty. It's just, mm. So I'm thinking I can use my green twine at the top and maybe paint some yellow and make this something cute to sit on my mantle for summertime. So that is everything. I hope you enjoy. You have a good day and I will talk to you later. Bye.